Hi friends, it's Linda here. And my question for you today is, do you ever wish that you saw animals in nature more often than you actually do? Because I know I feel that way. But in general, animals are very secretive. They don't like to be out in the open where they feel exposed to other predators that might harm them. And yes, they actually view humans as a predator as well. But the cool thing about nature is that it's so unpredictable. You never know what you're gonna find. You never know what you're gonna see. It's kind of like when you're looking for something that you've lost in your house house and while you're looking you find something else that you didn't even know was missing nature is a lot like that now another cool thing about nature is the winter time when there's snow on the ground the snow leaves behind evidence in the form of animal tracks to show us what animals have been doing when we're not there and not all tracks look the same not all patterns of tracks look the same so i put together a little video thanks to some friends of mine who shared some of their photos with me some of their videos with me and i have a few of my own i've put together so sit back relax and see if you can understand the story that nature's telling you so what we're looking at here is a barred owl they are the only owl in Ontario that has dark eyes and they have a really cool call that sounds like they're saying who 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 cooks for you now these tracks look very much like dog tracks oh there's my tracks but if you look at the pattern that they're taking they're taking a much straighter path than a dog would take. So that tells me that a wild animal left them behind. Dogs tend to go from tree to tree to tree in a more zigzag fashion. I think a red fox left these behind. Now here we've got some cottontail rabbit tracks. The big prints at the back belong to their hind feet and that actually tells you what direction they were traveling. So we're going in the opposite direction. The big feet always face the front. Now here, what we're looking at looks suspiciously like a raccoon was out taking a stroll on some thin ice, which probably wasn't a very good idea. If you look over there, you'll see some open water. Here we've got a coyote tempting fate as well out on the thin ice. Now these ones are star-nosed mole. They like to tunnel under the snow. Here we've got some that belong to a white-tailed deer. Oh, and we've got some wild turkey tracks. Gobble, gobble. Hello, Mr. Red-Tailed Hawk. What are you eating? Oh, looks like you're feasting on a morning dove. Oh, those eyes. Thanks for watching. Get outside and enjoy nature.